Welcome back everyone. So I found this really, really adorable, uh, it's just from an old book at an antique store and I want to make a little shadow box out of it. So I have this wood piece. I got this at Michael's, but I'll find a link for you. And I think I'm just going to start out by painting it. So I have the Magical Chalk Paint by P Paint Pixie in Marshmallow. And then I have um, the Glazed Donut. So I am just going to do a coat. I don't, I'm not gonna put anything on the back. So I'm just gonna do a coat around the inside. And I just wanna kind of blend it as I go along just to make kind of a lighter tannish color. Okay, so you can hardly tell I painted this, but it has um, two coats of sort of the blend of both of those colors. And that's exactly what I wanted because I kind of want to start out with something a little darker than what is here. When I put this in, you can tell, right? But it's really hard to distinguish when it isn't in. Um, so I, this is just gonna be so cute. I'm in love with, I'm in love with this. So I have, some Tim Holtz watercolor pencils and I think I'm just going to I want to just kind of stripe it so Because this is, uh, these are watercolor pencils, I'm just gonna spray a little water on my mat next to me here. And I'm using the favorite brush from the Turquoise Iris Collection. And it's probably too much water, but you can go on and make these much more painterly than, you know, kind of scribbled with a pencil. This is so cute so far. <laughs> I'm gonna take my decoupage gel now and put a nice coat on the back of this entire inside of this. By the way, uh, so far I've only used my turquoise iris short stop brushes, which I love. But I love the decoupage gel. Look how fast that was. I'm just going to take my bone folder. My hand is all full of the gel now. And I'm going to make sure that it is like all the way down here. Alrighty. So I was digging in my little, I have a whole basket full of these little baby um, block letters. And so, of course, I found the letter J for Jane, clearly. And um, I think I'm gonna put it up here. But I want to, 
I don't want to put any, any, really anything on the sides. Um, sometimes I'll do book pages here. Sometimes I'll stamp, emboss, you know, whatever, stencil. But I don't want to take anything away from here. So I think just for now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to spray some water. This is like the worst sprayer I've ever owned. <laughs> it doesn't even come out. And I wanted to just kind of, see, I'm gonna need some more water. I'm just gonna open it. I'm just rolling my watercolor pencil in the water. And all the pigments I'm mixing together so I actually have a really nice watercolor wash right here. Which is great. So now I will take my favorite, my favorite, the Iris Pro wash brush. And I'm just gonna kind of dunk it in here. And it just gives a nice, nice light wash. Look at how pretty that is. And I'm just kind of splashing it on. And you could even just take that, make a, just a little marker pattern. So I have these two feet and I want to put them here and I'm trying to decide, I kind of just want them to be this color. And so I'm looking at another combination of, did I just get watercolor on there? A combination of the um, marshmallow and the glazed donut again. So let me paint those and just kind of take a look. Righty, so. I am just going to eye up my center here and put a nice dollop of hot glue. That looks pretty good. Okay, so this is getting close. I think it's really cute. I want to separate these a little bit. So I'm using the Uni uh, Fine Line. This is water and fade proof. It is pigment based ink and I'm just using the brush tip selection. <laughs> the brush selection. And you can see that my lines are not perfect. And that is just fine with me. If you want to have your lines be, you know, really perfect, grab a ruler and measure them out. I'm making them a little bit bigger, but. Thank you. 
I'm going to add a little black into this block here. Okay, I'm going to take my archival pad and just line the edges here. So I want to add just a little bit of color pour this again to my feet. I'm going to use the watercolor pencil again. I have the Iris Pro Round now. I'm just getting a little wash on here. So anyways, thank you so much for watching. Please find me over at janebelanteart.com and I will see you next week Friday.